Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for March the 11th of 2021. Well, it is titled Zodiacal Light and Mars. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the sky and we see a lot of the winter uh, constellations there and including the constellation of Orion towards the upper left and you can see the three stars in the belt and then the sword including the Orion Nebula hanging down from that. Near the top of the screen is the bright red star Betelgeuse. Now we're also see closer to the center, the reddish st star like object there is actually not a star but a planet and that is the planet Mars. And Mars had a very close approach to the Pleiades star cluster which is right next to that. So you see Mars there close to center just to the right of that is the Pleiades star cluster, which is a, a grouping of stars a young open cluster in the constellation of Taurus the bull. Now the other thing that we see down below that kind of stretching up from the horizon the glow that kind of points up towards Mars is what we call the zodiacal light. The zodiacal light follows the constellations of the zodiac which is how it gets its name. And essentially what it is is as as light travels out from the sun it strikes dust particles in the solar system. And as it does that then it reflects those back to Earth giving us this glow around those constellations of the zodiac. So we see here it is going through the constellation of Taurus which is of course one of those zodiacal constellations. And it is a, in a flat plane because our solar system is flattened into a plane as well. So most of the dust is concentrated into the disk of the solar system. So the zodiacal light that we see is then able to always comes back from that plane. So it will always follow along those constellations and can be visible like this. Now one of the interesting things recently discovered as the Juno spacecraft was heading towards Jupiter was a potential origin for this dust. Where did this come from? Well, the Juno spacecraft was able to study some of this dust in between the planets and found that the the origin of the zodiacal light from this dust was actually the planet Mars. So Mars as we see here may have been the origin of that dusty material that gives us the zodiacal light that we see within the plane of the solar system and here showing glowing upward in the winter sky. So that was our picture of the day for March the 11th of 2021. It was titled Zodiacal Light and Mars. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.